Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk, and I just want to show you this very cool tool steel uh, OSL shader by one Ivan DeWolf. And you can download that uh, if you go to my blog, Arnold Rendering, and you can download the, the shader there. I'll put a little link in the description. And there's a little workaround for how you assign it. So, unlike a typical OSL shader, you have to assign it as a surface material. So if you start off by uh, assigning a shader to the head geometry, and if you go to the shading group for that, that, that shader, and then just disconnect the standard surface from the surface material, uh, it will just go pink just to show there's no surf, um, shader attached to it. And then if you create an OSL shader there, And then connect the out value to the surface shader. And then we need to import the OSL shader once you've downloaded it. Okay, so there you go. And just make sure you compile it so that we can see the uh, user interface. So I'm just going to start off by desaturating yeah so we get a nice metallic looking shader and there's three attributes that control the overall anisotropic effect we've got the elf the cell malt and the zelf cell malt is basically scale so we can reduce that you can see it's getting bigger we increase that value we get a nice repetition there and if you put the zelf to zero Gives you basically a chrome effect, and if you just slowly increase that, you can see the effect creeping in. Same with the alpha zero, and then just slowly control left click drag, and here you can see the anisotropic effect. So, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.